What are some things you look at when flying to a new airport? Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com, and I remember back in my student pilot days, the stress of flying to a new airport. What if I can't figure out how the runways are aligned? Is that N36 or is that N36? And you're all discombobulated as you're trying to figure everything out here. And what about if ATC, they tell me to report over uh, Highway US-1? You think, well, which one is that? And you're now down in the map trying to figure everything out. There's a lot that goes into flying into a new airport. It's so easy to beat up the traffic pattern at your home airport, but what happens when you leave that home airport? I want to show you what I do, and then I want to hear what you guys do as well when flying into a new airport. For me, it starts on the iPad. Let's take a look together here. Let's say, hypothetically, we're flying into Jacksonville International is where we're going. I start on the sectional chart, and the first thing I'm looking for are those VFR reporting points, those checkpoints. As you can see over here, we have Callahan out over here that you can see. We have all these different reporting points. Just down that, there is US-1. Uh, what else do we have? To the northeast, we have the Nassau River. You can see right there. I'm looking at these different VFR checkpoints, reporting points, because I could call up and say, hey, I'm over Callahan, hey, I'm over the Nassau River, and they could just as easily know where I'm at now by that. Now, they could tell me to report over the Nassau River. I could certainly tell them I'm unfamiliar, and they give me a DME or a distance instead, but it's much easier to go in ahead of time knowing what I'm looking at, know the reporting points, and know really the geography of the area. Now also too, I like to go in and take a look at the taxiway diagram. Let's do that for Jacksonville real quick here. And we'll click on this and I can see the runways. That really makes it easy for us now when we see the extended center lines like that. Who here has ever been flying up to an airport and go, is that end eight or is that end two six? Trust me, it takes student pilots a long time to realize that, as silly as it sounds. The way I remember it is you always land in to the number. So eight would be your heading on there. So where is eight in relation on my directional gyro? I always land in to that number eight is a fun way to always remember that here. But if we were to look at our taxiway diagram, we'll pull this up here so we can actually see it. I start too with just taking a look at where is the FBO I want to get to? It sounds so silly, but where is the FBO I want to get to? Now, on an actual taxiway diagram, it's just going to list, like this one just says FBO ramp. But what if there's two FBOs there? Which one is which? How would I know that? I could certainly call them and ask them. Or if I go back and I click, they have the nice, their little version of it here. You can see where it so shows. Here's Signature, here's Shelt Air, and they're both very similar, very close to each other. And I just did that by tapping on Jax and then tapping the, the small version of that there. Um, let me pull up the other one. So now I know that the two FBOs are there. So now I'm hoping that I land 8 or 2-6 so I get a real easy taxi, right? And I'm already thinking ahead of how are they going to have me taxi in? What if worse comes to worse and I land 3-2 or 1-4 and I've got this big long taxi? I'm thinking, okay, if I land 3-2, it would benefit me greatly to land long so I can get off on Papa and really avoid the main terminal and the gate area and all the airline traffic that's going to be there. I'm thinking about my taxi ahead of time based on runway layout and where the FBO is I want to get to. So there's two things and there's a ton more but I want to hear from you guys. What are some things you do beforehand when flying to a new to you airport? Maybe you call ahead, maybe you ask for this. I want to know what you guys do. Leave me a comment down below this video on Facebook, on YouTube, on m0a.com so we'll see it. Myself and the team here will get a response, we'll read it, uh, and we'll certainly share it with everyone else. We're so excited to read your responses. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.